Good evening, Byron, Mario, Daniel, Emerson, Francisco, Elizabeth, and Jose. Welcome to the class and thank you for being on time. How was your day? A lot of work? Or was it a relaxed day? I see that Mario is going to be just listening. And Emerson, thank you for letting us know that you're on the way home. So let us know when you're already at home and you can participate. It's going to be more than welcome. Hello, oh. good night. Okay. How was your day, Daniel? Oh, good. I'm good. working all day. Working all day? Was it yes. a heavy day? Yes, yes, many meetings uh, in the work, but oh. all good. You hate meetings. <laughs> yes. And do you have meetings every day? My work is, is, is meetings. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. So you're used to that? I uh, work in, in data analyst. Okay, so you're used to that. Uh, yes. yes. Okay, that's fine. Interesting. Do you work from Monday to Friday or you work on weekends too? Uh, Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Okay, you'll have the weekend to rest. Yes, tomorrow that's is nice. Friday. <laughs> Are all days the same or are they similar or is there a, a day that you feel that is heavier than the others? Some days are more uh, easy than others, but um, today it will hard, was hard. Okay. Well, that's interesting because uh, if every day is the same, you might get bored. <laughs> yes. Um, it's different all days, but um, it change their routine is important. Yes, it is really important. Yeah, that's definitely. So Alex is joining. Thank you for joining today's class. And I see that I have nine. We're still getting some people in the meeting. Magdiel is connecting too. We are going to start. I already shared back the material from where we stopped yesterday. Let's see. A very tired, a heavy day for Francisco too. Oh God. <laughs> well, sorry to hear that you had a heavy day, but I guess that in a couple of hours you will be able to, to rest and then get ready for the next day and that's the way the cookies crumble okay let me share the screen um all right here we go yesterday we practiced this conversation do you remember This is the conversation that we were practicing at the end of the meeting. I was on page 12 of your material. Okay, Matias, thank you for letting us know that you're still driving. I heard that the traffic in Australia is really heavy. So thank you. Uh, let us know when you can participate, but thank you for being there, listening and connected. Drive safe. Um, so we have these two um, phrases in bold. It means that it's a main topic that we will be practicing. We're going to be um, expressing preferences and we have these two ways to do it. Would prefer to and rather like this, right? What is the difference? Both have the same usage. Let's see, we have this on page 13. It says how to use would rather is as rather. And here we have only the would rather. Well, let's see. Would rather a plus base form of the verb and then 
would rather plus base form of the verb. So you can contract it. I, I think that this is the main idea here in this chart. But yes, in the conversation you see two, right? Would prefer, would prefer to and would rather. They have the same meaning. The difference is would prefer, when you use would prefer, you use an infinitive. You use to and then the main verb, prefer to. And then if you use rather, then you use a verb in simple form and that's okay. And this is in order to avoid repetitions. Imagine that if, if Julio says, many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? And Rina say, however, we have invested a lot of, in this product. We prefer to relaunch it. So they would be saying prefer, prefer, prefer. So in order to avoid repetitions, you can use would prefer or would rather. And the meaning is the same. The only difference is would prefer to. You use the infinitive, that's the difference. And then in this chart, we only have the would rather. Uh, this is used to express preferences and you can use it contracted. Would rather or just the contracted form would rather, I'd rather. Uh, for example, here, they would rather. So it's, you can contract the would. They rather withdraw the product, you know, would rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. So it's the same information, but it is telling us that you can contract the auxiliary would. Use rather, much rather for a stronger preference. So you can say much rather, would much rather for a stronger preferences. And this is more common in speaking than in writing. Um, something went wrong with the art in the labels, the product. I much rather hire a different designer. Green tortillas cannot compete with the low prices of other chips with much rather lower our price. Now, um, the exercise that we have here about this topic is to order the words to create sentences. We have a five sets of words and we have to create sentences using those words. You can do it in your notebook and then we're going to share. Do you have any question? Any question? Okay, I'll give you time for you to organize the words to make sentences.
Have you finished? Yes. Okay, volunteer for the number one. Can you read the sentence? Um, yes. Uh, the manager will write her as a relaunch of the product to design the creative team. Mm -hmm. The manager, can you repeat it? You were breaking off. The manager will rate her as mm -hmm. a relaunch mm -hmm. of the product to design the creative team. Excellent. That is correct. Thank you so much, Daniel. A volunteer for number two. Any volunteer for number two? You can raise your hand. Nobody has the number two? We, Thank you, we Victor. Will, we will much rather sell our products to many distributors at a lower price. Uh, okay. Mm, that is, it, it's correct, grammatically correct. It's a good sentence, but I don't see the we. I think the subject is many distributors. But yeah, you can add the we. Mm -hmm. Anybody else with number three? Me? Okay. Um, they would rather withdraw the product in new markets than introduce it. Perfect, Alex. Thank you so much. Number four. Do you have the number four? Nobody has it? Um, Daniel? many companies will rather operate on the product is in the decline stage as a premium option. Mm -hmm. Yes, sounds good. Thank you so much. And the last one, number five. I say it or, or another? Yeah, you can say that one. Many more companies will rather become the low cost provider of a product with great caution, caution about price wars. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. So now, um, it's two things, right? The two ways to express preference is uh, would rather, and you can also say would much rather, and the other, do you remember the other way to express preference? Besides prefer. rather, uh-huh. Yeah, I would prefer. Prefer, uh-huh, I would prefer to, as exactly. in the conversation. Anyway. Yes, and the only exercise that we have is uh, this one that we already did on page 13, but we will be practicing more the two ways, okay? Would rather and would prefer to. And with that purpose, I added this material for you to continue practicing, and we're going to focus on college majors. Here we have the 10 most popular college majors. Is there any volunteer to read the description of the college majors? Volunteer to read, number one, business. 
Who wants to read? Marilyn, thank you. Business. Learn about commerce, finance, marketing, and accounting. Number two. Uh -huh. Continue, Marilyn. Okay, number two. Social sciences and history. Study economics, geography. Geo geography. A geography and so sociology. Sociology. Okay. Education. Study how people learn and how best to teach them. Psychology. Learn about human mental process and behavior. Nursing. Acquire the skills needed to take care of sick people. Communication. Learn about your names, listen, new media and human human interaction. Biology. Learn the fundamentals of life science. Engineering. Study the application of math and science to practical ends. English. Analyze works of literature, writing, and the English language. Computer science. Study the theoretical foundation of computation and its application. Very good. Thank you so much for helping us, Marilyn. And I see that there is kind of um, maybe not new or complicated vocabulary, but it's a vocabulary that we uh, rarely use. So we're going to review some words and you can repeat at home. Uh, let's uh, start. Geography. Geography. Psychology. Psychology. Biology, biology, engineering, engineering, science, science, and that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah, those are the words that I heard that were mispronounced. You did a very good. Do you have any question about maybe pronunciation for this vocabulary? It's pretty simple. The only thing is that we rarely use that kind of vocabulary. <laughs> any question? Uh, we can move. No questions or comments? Okay, moving on with this, get to the next slide. Pick a subject. This is listen. Okay, this is a listen to the survey. Who is the survey targeting? What does the survey want to know? I'm going to stop sharing here and getting to the audio. Okay, here I had the audio. I'm going to share some with you so that you can listen. Okay, we're going to listen and then we're going to be responding to these questions. Who is the survey targeting and what does the survey want to know? Are the two questions clear? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's listen and then we're going to answer the two questions. Unit 8. Lifelong Learning. Page 50, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A. Listen to the survey. Who is the survey targeting? What does the survey want to know? 
Pick a subject. We are expanding the school curriculum next year. What kinds of classes should we add? Please take a moment to answer a few questions. 1. Would you rather take a business class or a communications class? I'd rather take a business class. Go to question 2A. I'd rather take a communications class. Go to question 2B. I'd rather take another type of course. Go to question 3. 2A. Would you prefer to study commerce or marketing? I'd prefer to study commerce. I'd prefer to study marketing. I'd prefer not to study either. I'd prefer another business course. 2B. Would you rather study journalism or new media? I'd rather study journalism. I'd rather study new media. I'd rather not study either. I'd prefer another communications course. 3. What other types of courses would you add to the curriculum? Okay, that was the listening. Are we okay with that? Or you want for me to play it one more time? Do you want to listen again? Yes, one yes. More. I am, please. Okay. Unit 8. Lifelong Learning. Page 50, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A. Listen to the survey. Who is the survey targeting? What does the survey want to know? Pick a subject. We are expanding the school curriculum next year. What kinds of classes should we add? Please take a moment to answer a few questions. 1. Would you rather take a business class or a communications class? I'd rather take a business class. Go to question 2A. I'd rather take a communications class. Go to question 2B. I'd rather take another type of course. Go to question 3. 2A. Would you prefer to study commerce or marketing? I'd prefer to study commerce. I'd prefer to study marketing. I'd prefer not to study either. I'd prefer another business course. 2B. Would you rather study journalism or new media? I'd rather study journalism. I'd rather study new media. I'd rather not study either. I'd prefer another communications course. 3. What other types of courses would you add to the curriculum? Okay, let's check your understanding. Who is the survey targeting? What do you think? Uh, university students. Uh huh. The target is university students. Uh huh. Great. What does the survey want to know? Uh, what kind of classes they want? Uh huh. If they would like to add another classes or different courses, and also what are their interests? That's great. Thank you so much for your participation. As you can see, we are uh, studying here and listening to people uh, expressing preferences using would rather and would prefer to. In both cases, you can contract would with a subject. You can say I rather or I'd prefer to. Remember um, the difference is when we use rather, we immediately place a verb. But if this says prefer, we need to use the infinity verb with a two, with a particle two. I'll prefer two and then the verb in infinity. And that's it. Uh, that's pretty simple. The next 
thing that we have in the presentation is pronunciation intonation. That is a, a very quick exercise, but it's very important uh, to practice pronunciation. Intonation in questions of choice, okay? We are practicing how to express preferences when we have a choice. And uh, we're going to listen and notice the intonation pattern in the questions, okay? You will listen and see that uh, for the first option, the intonation goes up. And then for the second option, the intonation decreases, it goes down. Listen. Oh, just let me close this. And play this. Page 51, exercise three, pronunciation. Intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. You can practice at home. Remember to keep the microphones off to avoid the delays in sound. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you prefer to study nursing or education? Would you rather be a psychologist or an engineer? Listen one more time and repeat. Page 51, Exercise 3, Pronunciation. Intonation in Questions of Choice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you prefer to study nursing or education? Would you rather be a psychologist or an engineer? Okay, do you have any questions? Comments? Okay. okay. Everything is okay. All right. We will be moving to the grammar focus of this um, structure. And uh, we also have the audio for this. So would rather and would prefer. Let's listen about the usages of these phrases to express preferences. Page 51, exercise four, grammar focus. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a business or communications class? I'd rather take a communications class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study business or communications. Would you prefer to study business or communications? I'd prefer to study business. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a club. I'd rather not join a club. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a club. I'd prefer not to. Okay, as you may listen and realize for both, if you are using would rather, that verb is going to be an infinitive form. It means that we are not going to conjugate it. It's going to be an infinitive, but we are going, we're not going to use the particle to. If we use prefer, 
Yes, we need the particle to and the verb in infinitive as well. That's the difference. And to make negatives, we just add the word not. After rather or prefer, add not if you are making negative statements. Do you have any question or comment? No. Questions, comments, requests? No? Me teacher, maybe. Just one. Um, I can use uh, gerunds with I would rather. Mm. Uh, I would rather wash in my car than. Um, sleeping? Or, or I don't know if it's incorrect. Um, we use infinitives, no, no gerund. Always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, only infinitives. Is there any other question? I have a question. Uh, I don't remember what is different in the uh, in the sentences uh, when it's infinitive. So, uh, I, I don't understand how is the uh what what is the difference with uh rather would rather or would prefer uh is when you don't use the verb uh you, and you only use in the sentences or or what is the difference with that phrases okay there is no difference in meaning and there are two ways to make infinitives in some cases, uh, remember that infinitive is the verb, um, no tense, no, uh, we use it in the simple form. For example, the verb to be, you know that is am, um, is are, okay? It is conjugated in the simple present, the verb be is am, um, is are, that is conjugated in present. For the simple past, how do we conjugate the verb be? Okay. Was and were. But when we are talking about infinitive, is the verb in the simple form. We say it in Spanish like are, er, ir, right? And for example, say it. Okay, so I said, I'd rather be in Alaska than in El Salvador because it's too hot here. I'm suffering <laughs> with this weather. So yes, I can say I would rather be. So the bird is in the simple form. We are not conjugating the bird be. It's like saying estar, okay? No estoy diciendo estoy ni estuve, sino que estar, yo preferiría estar. Entonces, a eso se refiere el infinitivo. Hay dos formas de expresar un infinitivo y uno es como este, estar el verbo ahí nomás él solito y la otra es poniéndole la partícula el tú. El verbo eh, no, no altera el significado el que lleve el tú ahí, pero aquí pues yo puedo decir I prefer. I would prefer to be in Alaska than in El Salvador. El significado es el mismo. Eh, prefer and rather, los dos significan lo mismo. Es para expresar una preferencia cuando tenemos eh, alguna elección, ¿verdad? Preferiría estar aquí um, en Alaska que en El Salvador. Eh, entonces, la única diferencia es esa, que si uso el prefer, el verbo va a ir en infinitivo con el tú agregado, ¿verdad? To be. Y si uso rather, solo be. No necesita el tú. Okay. Esa es la única diferencia. 
pero no altera el significado. Es como tenemos opciones para no estar diciendo, ah, yo prefiero esto, yo prefiero aquello, el otro también dice yo prefiero. Entonces, para evitar repetición, tenemos la otra manera de expresar preferencias, diciendo rather. Y solo es eh, seguir la regla, que si uso rather, inmediatamente pongo el verbo infinitivo sin el to. Pero si, hizo, y si utilizo prefer, tengo que usar el verbo con, eh, en infinitivo más la partícula to. No sé si me expliqué. Sí. Ok, excelente. Any other question? Sometimes I rather to, uh, well, I prefer to explain the grammar in Spanish because I know it is difficult. <laughs> grammar is really difficult. So sometimes I, I prefer to explain it in Spanish. It's more simple. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's simpler. Yes. Okay. If there are no more questions, I'm going to check attendance. So if it is possible for you, you can turn on your cameras if you are driving or getting home. No worries, just say present when you hear your name and then we will continue developing the class. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Abigail. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present. Thank you, Alex. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Tessia Noemi Ramos. Tessia Noemi Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander. Present. Thank you, Emerson. Francisco Ernesto. Gertrudis Aymara. Guadalupe Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Guadalupe. Hazel Vanessa. Hazel Vanessa. Jose Enrique. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet. Julissa Yamilet. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Luis Javier. Present, Luis. Thank you, Luis. Magdiel. Present teacher. Magdiel. Manuel Alexander. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you, Melanie. Victor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you, Victor. Miral Byron. Present teacher. Thank you, Byron. William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, William. And that's it for the attendance. So we can go ahead and continue with our presentation for today class. Okay. Um, One second. Uh, 
Okay, I'm sharing the screen. And now that we have explained uh, how to use would rather and would prefer, we're going to, um, to continue with this exercise. Let me make this bigger for you. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it says complete a conversation with would in the appropriate form of the verbs in parentheses and then practice with a partner. So you can write them in your notebook and complete, for example, the first one, number 1A is a question, right? 1A, we have a question there. What are we missing? First would be the auxiliary, right? Meaning, what is the auxiliary that we're going to use? Do. Would, uh-huh. Would oh. you prefer, and we have prefer, and the bird is sign up. Is it, would you prefer sign up or would you prefer to sign up? To oh, sign up. To sign up, excellent. Thank you so much, Victor. Would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? Is it clear what you're going to do with the exercise? Yes. Okay. I'll give you time for you to complete the conversations. You can complete them in your notebook if it's easier for you.
finished yes okay let's check your answers let me start a new share Uh, volunteer for number one. You can read your answers. They complete thing. Uh, will you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? I'm not really interested in geography, so I prefer to take biology course. Uh huh. Excellent. Here you can see the answers. The answers are correct. Excellent, Daniel. Thank you so much. Um, just biology. Biology. I know it's difficult. <laughs> We're going to get used to. Okay. Biology. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number two. Volunteer for number two. Me, teacher. And thank you. And Luis Javier, number three. Emerson. So, would you rather to learn English in England or Canada? To tell you the truth, I prefer to not study in the place. I'd rather to go to Australia because it's warmer there. Okay, we barely hear, but yes. The question, would you rather learn, excellent. And then in the answer, prefer not to study. Not to study, I rather go to Australia. Excellent, thank you so much for participating, Emerson. Now let's listen to Luis with number three. Okay, if you needed to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or to have a private tutor? I'd rather take a class than hire a tutor. Excellent, very well done. Here you have the answers. Aquí en chiquitito, esto lastimosamente no lo puedo hacer más grande. But you can see here, if you need to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or have a private tutor. I rather take a class than hire a tutor. Excellent. Thank you so much, Luis, for your participation. And number four, which is the last one, a volunteer for number four. Would you okay. rather have Victor? Would you rather have a job in an office or work outdoors? Outdoors. Mm -hmm. And the answer? I definitely rather rather have a job where in outdoors. Where I'm outdoor. Great. Thank you so much, Victor. Here you can check. Would you rather have a job in an office or work outdoors? I definitely rather have a job where I'm outdoors. That's it. Now, we're going to continue practicing this, but now that we have all the correct answers, we're going to ask and answer the questions with the proper intonation and give our own information. So for example, number one would be, would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? Remember that in the first option, the intonation increases and then in the second option, it decreases. Mm -hmm. Um, that's in regards of intonation 
And then you have to give your own information here. So for question number one, for me, for example, would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? Mm. Yeah, I, I think it's the same for me. <laughs> I prefer to take a biology course. <laughs> Uh, I think that geography, it's um, kind of boring for me. <laughs> but um, yes, and biology, it can be interesting to know um, things about, um, I don't know, to use those tools in a lab. <laughs> it could be great. So I'm going to share these uh, in a screenshot with you. So let me, yes, in just one moment. I'm sure that you all have this correct answer and the questions. We're going to go ahead and practice in the breakout room. You say the same questions, paying attention to the intonation, right? Remember to um, increase the intonation in the first option, and then the second option, decrease the intonation. And then for the answers, you will give the, your own responses. We are going to practice in groups. Remember that you just have to click join or unirse to get in groups. You decide, okay? So one of you is going to ask, to another and this other person is going to um, give their own response, his or, or her response. That's the only difference. We're going to change the responses according to our preferences. Now, let's see. I'm going to send it in case that you don't have it complete or I see that some, some of you just joined a couple of minutes ago. Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. Repeat yes. again the, the instru instruction, please. Okay, sure. We are going to practice the previous exercise. Let me start sharing again. Okay, I already sent the the answers or the responses to the group. Let me. Let me see, this is taking too long. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yeah, yes. We're going to practice these questions, the ones that we just did. Uh, paying attention to the intonation. Remember that um, in the first option, the intonation goes up. And then the second option, it, go, it, it decreases. So the intonation for the questions would be, for example, would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? And then you have to give me your own response. For example, you can say here, I'm not really interested in um, biology, so I'd prefer to take a geography course, probably. Or maybe your answer would be the same. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher, clear. Okay, and yes. you will take turns in the group asking and answering the questions from this exercise. I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to practice speaking and pronunciation. Uh, if for some reason you get into a group that uh, people is not joining because they are just listening for any reason, I'm going to be moving you from groups.
I think Francisco is get up. Hey, yo, I'm sorry. I think Francisco wants to talk. Okay, I uh, would you prefer yeah, to sign parts of course and violin or geography? Okay, I'm not really interest, interested in geography, so I prefer to take a biology course. Would you rather learn English in England or Canada? For, for who the question, Francisco? For who? The question. Every. <laughs> okay, Joe, to tell Please? you the truth, okay. I prefer to not study in either place. I rather go to Australia because it's warmer there. War warmer there. Very good. Remember that when you make negatives, it's like I prefer not to study. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue practicing. Not, not to study. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I see to not study. Uh huh. It's, it's not, not to, to start. Mm -hmm. okay. Excellent. Continue practicing. Me. Number three. For the question for Daniel. If you needed to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class? Yeah or have a private tutor? Tutor? Uh, yeah. Sorry, private. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'd rather uh, take a class with a private tutor, hire a private, private tutor because it's a personalized a class and you can learn more. I will do a question. Uh, Guadalupe, if you need to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or have a private tutor? Uh, in my case, I'd rather take a class because I prefer to inter in I prefer to have interactions with another classmates. Um then Vidal, would you prefer to singing up for a course in biology or geography? Uh, I'm not really interested in geogra geography, so I prefer to take a biology course. Mm. Or I continue with Guadalupe or? It's okay. You oh. can ask. Would you rather, would you rather learn English in England or Canada? Um, a difficult... <laughs> Wait, let me order my thinking. Um, I rather um, learn English in Canada because for me, Canada is a good country to live and 
the education maybe can be very good. Daniel, can you ask the next, next question? Yeah, but yeah, but I, I, feel, uh, uh -huh. I feel that the the learning is is more disciplinated. Yeah, for yeah. example, with you learn um, to the to the higher tutor, uh, you. Uh, uh, tiendes como a desconcentrarte mucho. Or cosas así, for example, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 maybe yeah. you can, uh, you can, uh, can uh, you can add a conclusion to, to the to the objective, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah for yeah. example, the chat or video on fa or on on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yes. that maybe it depends on um, how how much strict is the tutor, yeah? Because maybe some tutors, they maybe doesn't care, but <laughs> uh, others maybe they are more... Um... Yeah. So you don't like to work at home, you prefer to go to the office? I prefer... I prefer to go to the office or go to the work. It's better because I think you have a, a air conditioner, right? <laughs> mm, no, not exactly. Uh, but yes, but, but this is a good reason because in, in my house doesn't have Air condition. <laughs> yeah, we only have a uh, fan, and you know the fan only has three or four uh, speed. Yeah, the noise of the fan is 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 like um I don't know. <laughs> It disturbs. Yeah. It disturbs. Um, it might cause you to um, not to listen very well, or yeah. You finish practicing all the questions? Yes, yes sir. Yep. Okay, you were a few in this room. Do you have any questions about pronunciation? Uh, the word uh, tutor or tutor, I don't know. Tutor. Oh, tutor. Okay. Excellent. Any other question? It's okay. Okay. See you in the main section. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Everyone is back again. So congratulations to all of you who were practicing. You were um, doing your speaking activity and rehearsing, right? That is the important part. And the main focus of this section is to practice. 
most of us maybe we do not have um with whom can we practice our english to practice our speaking so this is a very good chance to do so so congratulations you were doing it great um we're going to check attendance for the second time and then we're going to continue with one more exercise before finishing today's session so let's say present when you hear your names abigail elizabeth flores present thank you abigail alex enrique lemos present thank you alex carlos emilio coto present teacher thank you carlos Cecilia noemi ramos Cecilia noemi ramos Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. And Emerson Alexander. Present. Thank you, Emerson. Francisco Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara. Gertrudis Aymara. Guadalupe Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Jose Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Present, Miss. Thank you, Luis. Magdiel Esaú. Present, teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you, Melanie. Victor Noé. Present teacher. Okay. Vidal Byron. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Okay, we are ready to continue. Let me continue sharing screen with you. Then we have um, a similar exercise. In the previous one, we had the questions already done. Now we are going to write the questions with would rather or would prefer using what we have here. The clues we have um, number one, for example, take a science class or an art class. And then we have to write the questions in both ways, using rather or prefer to. First one is, would you rather take a science class or an art class? The second option, using prefer to, would you prefer to take a science class or an art class? Okay, let's write the questions using the clues that we have here. Number two, study part-time or full-time. Have a boring job that pays well or have an exciting job that pays less. Take a land vacation once a year or several short vacations each year. I'll give you time for you to write the questions in your notebook. Remember to use rather and refer to with the clues provided.
Also remember to write your own answers. For example, in number one, um, what would be your answer? Would you take? Would you rather take a science class or an art class? I would rather take a science class because I'm not very creative. So I think I wouldn't be good at art.
Have you finished? No yet, teacher. No yet? Okay. Teacher, are you changing the presentation? Um, no. Why? Well, I, I, I sent it yesterday, right? And I resend it today. The only thing I did is that I removed the, the slices that we, um, that we discussed and practiced yesterday. I only removed what we have already done, but those were just pages from the student book. Okay, mm -hmm. I I get it. Do you need it completed? I can resend it complete again. Um, no yet. No. Okay. I, I will add more content tomorrow. Okay, unfortunately, the time is over. We're going to continue with this exercise tomorrow. And for now, I hope that you sleep well, have a nice rest and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.